So my name is Amar and I'm associated with Urinet. So I think it's a four year now. Okay, overall I have 15 plus experience and I have experience on uh, different technology. Okay, so I'm working professional and I have experience on the firewall. I have experience on the proxy technology. I have experience on load balancing. Okay, and I have experience on cyber security. So if you talk about the firewall, so I do have experience on um, checkpoint, Palo Alto, ESA, Fortigit. So all these firewalls I have experience. Okay. Okay. And uh, on load balancer, so I have uh, experience on F5 and Citrix cloud technology. So I do have experience on um, uh, AWS and Azure. Okay. So here, uh, if we talk about uh, CCSE, uh, you know, certification. So basically uh, CCSE certification is available for RAT version. And the certification code is a uh, 156-315.80. If you want to go for this certification, so uh, you have to pay 250 U USD. And the prerequisite for this course is a CCSA. So, okay. And uh, the exam timing is uh, 90 minute. You would have number of uh, question 90 and you have to pass, uh, you have to get 70% for the passing score. The exam uh, can be scheduled using, you know, PS and VOE. Okay, and this is completely online, online exam. So in this certification path, you can see that we have CCSA, CCSE and CCSM. So right now we are in expert level certification. Moving to next one, what we are going to cover in a CCSE. So we are going to cover checkpoint um, firewall infrastructure. Okay. We are, where we will talk about how checkpoint firewall works. So you, you guys already know that what a checkpoint infrastructure. So basically in infrastructure, we have GUI client management and security gateway. So those are the infrastructure and we'll talk about more detail about these infrastructure that what are the processes uh, have for, you know, what are the processes have for uh, Gateway, what is the process run on the, uh, you know, management and what are the processes required to connect client to the management. So all these things we will discuss on the checkpoint infrastructure. Then we will talk about the security gateway. So in security gateway, we'll, we'll talk about, you know, how the packet flow on the checkpoint, what is the inbound and what is the outbound packet flow. Okay. How the firewall chaining works. Okay. So what is the outbound chain? What is the inbound chain? If you need to see the connection, so how you can see all those things we will discuss. On. Then we have a next topic. We will have kernel tables. So basically, you know, in checkpoint, we have a kernel. So on kernels, we have different types of tables. Okay. In, in fact, different types of processes in kernel. So we will discuss about those processes. Then we will go for the checkpoint firewall uh, key features. What are the checkpoint firewall key features we have? So all those key features we will discuss. For example, how the policy inspection work, how the policy installation work, how, what is the policy installation flow? So all these things we will discuss on the checkpoint, uh, you know, key features. After this, we will discuss about uh, network address translation that is netting. So basically we had already covered netting in a, in a CCSA. Here we will cover depth about net, that how exactly net works. Okay, how you would troubleshoot different netting issue, how you can see the uh, netting a uh, netted packet flow. Okay, and how you can monitor them. Okay, what are the services we have available uh, for netting, okay and uh, when we disable some of the services how net net get uh, affected talk about the zone security zone here okay and how we will deal uh, with netting for different security zone so that we will cover under uh, network address translation after network address translation we will talk about firewall monitor yes this is a very important thing and uh, this is kind of tool to monitor the packet flow 
in inside the checkpoint okay so we will discuss how we can monitor the packet flow how we can capture the packet flow using fw monitor so as i uh, as we discussed earlier that uh, using fw monitor we can uh, monitor the accepted packet and using tcp dump we can dump the all the packets all the packets which is hitting to the firewall so we will discuss about these tools fw monitor and tcp dump here then we will go for the core cli element okay how we can uh, administrator of uh, admin the firewall using a cli component okay so we will talk about you know clish mode and shell mode both okay we will talk about clish mode here okay and also we will talk about you know bash shell so these uh, these administration means what what the things can be managed using clish mode and what the things can be managed using shell mode so we will talk about that okay so shell mode basically expert mode expert mode so we will talk about expert mode plus we will talk about the clish mode so what are the commands you can run on expert mode what are the commands you can run on clish mode so all these things we will talk about in a core CLI uh, element of the checkpoint firewall administrator. So let's move to next one. Uh, let's go for the cluster, uh, clustering and acceleration. So here we will talk about the clustering. As you know, checkpoint support two types of clustering. One is the active passive and other is the active active. So we will talk about the clustering. We'll see also the packet acceleration, which is known as a, a Secure Excel. So here we will talk about the cluster Excel plus secure Excel. Okay, secure Excel. So this is this is kind of feature which is used for the packet acceler uh, acceleration. Okay, like uh, in checkpoint we have slow path, fast path, and medium uh, medium path. So we will talk about all these things. And after clustering, we will talk about clustering load sharing. That means active active clustering, how we can run active active clustering. And then there is a old clustering method that is a VRRP, which was used by checkpoint. So we will discuss about VRRP as well. And we will discuss the difference between VRRP clustering and cluster Excel. So cluster Excel is a modern day clustering in a checkpoint, but um, in some of the old device, like we have a Nokia, the uh, hardware for checkpoint that will run on VRRP. So we will discuss about that, how it works. Okay. That means basically legacy mode, actually. This is nothing, but this is legacy mode. So we will discuss legacy mode under VRRP. Okay. A new mode in our color stack. So, uh, after clustering uh, differences, we will talk about here uh, clustering maintenance, how we can manage the clustering. Okay. So here we'll talk about how we can, uh, if we have a checkpoint firewall, like um, two firewall, which is on cluster. And if we require to upgrade the operating system or due to some reason, we need to down the cluster membership or remove one of the member faulty member from the cluster. So how we can do that. So that will be covered under clustering mem uh, cluster mem maintenance over here. So this is, this is cluster ma maintenance. Then we have management HA. So here we will cover how we can create a, you know, management um, HA. That means uh, we have a SMS server that is a smart management server. So if we have a single management server, okay, to manage the gateways, okay. So that that is the issue, okay. If this, uh, if you want to do, you know, upgrade on this particular SMS management server, so this is single point of failure, okay. During the upgrade or during the maintenance, none of the policy can be pushed, okay. So we used to configure, you know, the HA of the management. Okay, so one would be primary and the other would be secondary. Okay, so if we require to do ma uh, maintenance, so we will start from primary. Let's say we will make uh, switch the role from this primary to another management server. And now we will start managing the uh, primary one. 
uh, for upgrade or for any any maintenance once this would be upgraded we will use to switch the role back to the primary and then we can upgrade the secondary so we don't have a single point of failure okay we have a ma management server in ha so that we can push the policy to the other server uh, through through other uh, management server okay that's means secondary uh, management server so we will see here how we can configure a primary and secondary management uh, server that means a smart management server so all those things will cover under the management ha you can see this is our lab and this lab is is in much detail you can see we have more gateways and more servers so basically uh, what we will do we have the central switch over here okay so in this switch we will create a different vlan okay we to segregate the network because all these right now is connected to the same switch and this is a flat network so if you want to segregate them so we have to create a different vlan so on the switch we will create a vlan that vlan we will create to segregate the vlan segregate the network okay so we will create a different vlan and if you see uh, we have a security gateways so we will use two security gateway and these security gateway would be on the dc side so this this component you can see from this side i mean from this vertical line on the left side you can see that this is this is dc so we can consider these component is on dc and this side we can see that this is this is a completely you know branch and this is external we can configure consider them as external okay so we can segregate to three types of network one is the data center side other is the branch side and uh, the next one is external so we will segregate the, this network according to the vlan and we will configure these uh, dc firewall as a cluster so these firewall would be part of cluster and these devices we will configure these are the management devices so we will configure as a uh, you know this is a management ha we will configure them as a management ha okay so one of the device we will configure as a primary and other one is we will configure as a secondary management which is managing these these two primary or and secondary management device would be managing all the gateway so using these primary and secondary management we can manage we will manage the uh, you know primary and secondary data center resources plus this branch office firewall we will also manage from this management center only okay and this is the windows server so this windows server we will use as a smart console a smart console we will use this windows server as a smart console so that means a smart console will be installed on this server and we will access the the management and from the management we will push the policy to the different security gateway including branch office gateway okay this is the workstation we will use this workstation you know for um, internet connectivity as well as uh, we will use this workstation to configure the bridge mode we get because we haven't discussed the bridge mode yet okay in ccsc so here we will configure the bridge mode okay 